Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline. In this video, we will see how we can use PySide inside Maya. So let's just see the Maya. So for now, I'm using Maya 2018, the recent version of Maya as of now. And here, if you see the all interface are common, but we are gonna talk about Python and PySide. So the good thing is PySide 2 is now shipped with Maya default installation. So you no need to install PySide 2 separately. And if you want to see like the PySide installation, you can go from PySide and this S is capital PySide 2 import let us import uh, Qt widget. Okay, and let execute that. There's no error. That means you clearly import the Qt widgets. But now the second thing that we want to see is uh, can we create some some vi windows and widgets inside Qt widgets uh, and inside Maya. So to test that, we go and just create a message box, for example. So, so Qt widgets dot Q, Q message box, and we have uh, many types of message box, uh, which is coming by Qt and PySide and PyQt library. Uh, I'm gonna use about. They are one more which is warning and so let's just put the first argument as none and this is actually the parent widget where you want to put uh, the parent of this the message box the second argument is the title title of your message box and third argument is like Hey, I'm PySite, right? So we just write this here. Let me just, just simple this line and that just execute that. Whoa, okay. Uh, Q message box. Where are we? No Q message box. Clearly, this is a spelling mistake. Okay, and here you can see that you can see the a message window which is created inside PySite. There is a title and there is a message box and it's inside Maya and you can hit OK and it will close. So this is just to see that, okay, now we have PySite too, but what we can do with the PySite there is some more interesting stuff can we can we go some can go and create some more complicated stuff with PySite and the answer is yes of course you can do that and for my this demonstration video what I'm going to show you is you can actually create your own internal file browser uh, it's a kind of file explorer Maya file explorer where you can actually see your project Maya files and you can directly import inside your scene you can re reference also inside your scene so we'll we'll give three options there you can browse files and uh, let's just quickly see what, what browser is so for example i have like this system based file browser okay so right so when we have this file browser we can see there are py file pyc file and when we right click here there are some context menu here the right click menus here but let's say uh, this is these are all uh, Maya files, right? So if if these are Maya files, for example, let me go to my project and this is the asset and we have this Maya file. And if we right click there, imagine if there there should be some option where we can uh, add like uh, import to scene and reference to scene and maybe add to scene. So in directly inside Maya, but this is the Windows Explorer, so you can't do anything. So what we're going to do is we will just recreate this file browser inside Maya. 
so then you have full control and you can create your own custom right click menus okay so the thing is how you're gonna do the file browser it's very easy I already explained in my previous video where you can see how you can create a file browser in Python using Qt and PySite 2 and um, Python 3 okay so the code is already uploaded inside my git repo the link you can find it it will be on uh, github.com slash hqvfx and you can just go and download the code and play around with that so we will continue with that same source code so if i see this i already have a py file if i want to execute this all i need to do is just run this uh, file browser with python so python file browser and if you run this and you can see it this is a application which is written in PySide and python and we have a custom menu here which is like open in maya now our goal is to import this this window inside maya so it will so it will be the part of maya native application so let's start with that let's start with that so for that now let's just clear go to new tab python tab and first thing we already have this app ready so we will not write any file browser code all you need to do let me just maximize that first you need to import system because I will uh, explain you step by step here we have this file browser and now we want this file to be import inside Maya right and before import we need to set this file path and to set the system path what we need to do let, let's just put path equals to and this is our path don't forget to put a r to make a raw string here it might give error if you don't put r and then put sys dot path dot append path but make sure if this path is not there then only you should append so you should start with if condition like if says dot path if sorry if path in so if path not in if not path in says dot path perfect so with that what we are saying hey just uh, import your system and then inside system you just check the path if this path don't exist inside sys.path just append to this path okay let's just go and now import this file browser so let me just quickly copy this you no need to type the py at the end so import and don't forget to add this line which is reload file browser what that will do because most of the time we'll go to our file and we'll make some changes when we write some maya related functions that time we need to reopen this again and again so later we will just create a shelf button with this command so we no need to write this entire again and again and again okay so let's just go with that so with that we are able to open the file browser but still we need to access i will show you yeah so this is our file browser source code where we can see this is our class that we want to access okay so let's just copy this class file name and let's just create like my file browser equals to and put your class name and then your dot show okay so i think this is the snippet of that you you will require again and again we will just go and create a shelf button with that so we no need to write a 
change this all stuff let's just create a shelf button and hit enter and definitely we'll see some error what says that invalid syntax what we write some invalid obviously we did not end this and this should end you know that's what happened when you are not working on a IDE or maybe when you are working on an IDE that remind you where you are good doing wrong and again my my file browser is not defined sorry obviously you should call this this is a class so that's why you should call like this okay now that just delete and run all right so now you can see that inside Maya your browser is you can see that browser here right and that's this is the same browser so you can always go and whenever you execute this standalone mode also like on on windows mode also you can see that for example if you come here and if you run this file browser yes so you can you can run this application outside maya and you can also run this application inside maya like this okay so as of now everything fine everything cool now let's start our main game which is create some uh, functions which is like uh, import maya and uh, okay we'll we'll add three buttons there one already here like open in new maya so whenever somebody click this it will open a new maya and start and i think this already there i mentioned in my last video okay yes when you execute this definitely yes the maya is starting and it will open and it will load the scene into new maya but what if if we want to import this stuff inside this maya so we will add three more button and here you see that maya already started with this cone loaded so open is working and if you want to see that how this open is working you just go and check out my previous video which i created you can find the link in the card name card and the description also okay so now let's come to this point our goal is to add three more buttons here which is open file open in same maya which is open here and import to maya which is just take this file and import inside my current scene and third one is reference to maya and so we will do this with some maya default python commands and to cover that just follow my next video i will see you in my next video see you